Now, new powers to bring derelict property back up to standard and into use have been used for the first time in Kent. A big Victorian house in Cliftonville, used for a while as a hotel, but empty for so long it had become a danger to the public, has been made the subject of an enforced sale. It'll be converted into flats... It's being hailed a success by Kent's No Use uh, Empty campaign, which now has hundreds of other properties in its sights. Graham Cook reports. It's been a while since anyone opened the front door to number 77 Eastern Esplanade, a large Victorian end of terrace job in Cliftonville. For the past couple of years, it's been clad in scaffolding for safety reasons. Two crumbling chimney stacks have had to be removed. The windows are boarded up, but gaping holes in the roof have allowed the weather and the pigeons in. It's a hazard and an eyesore, but Mike Thompson, empty property officer at Thanet Council, says for the longest time nothing could be done about it. The owner died back in 1981. He was a Saudi Arabian gentleman, left the property to various family members, and the ownership now is spread throughout Saudi Arabia. And um, a solicitor in London is having great difficulty in actually tracking down just who owns it, and that really has led to the problems that we've got today. Because they couldn't determine the ownership, it's not been able to be offered for sale in the conventional way. So an unconventional approach has been tried for the first time in Kent. It was a danger to the public. The chimney stacks were leaning. There was masonry falling off, slates coming off the roof. So under the Building Act 1984, we've had to take it on, for want of a better term. And that has all accrued as a debt to the council. Now, the council's able to register that debt with the local land registry. Once registered, it can actually ask for that debt to be repaid. It did that, the debt wasn't repaid, we can then act like a building society and force the sale of the property, just like a building society would repossess. We've done exactly the same, taken over the property and enforced the sale. The cost of buying number 77 has been shared by Thanet Council and the Town and Country Housing Group, who will spend a year and a bundle of money converting it into four flats. Their new business manager, Tim Warren, says the aim is to offer affordable housing to local people. They will be local applicants that will work in conjunction with Thanet to identify them, um, and they will they'll buy a part share in the property, so up to um, probably about 40%, and then pay a rental on the unsold equity, and then they have an opportunity after 12 months to what they call stay case up from 40% up to say 50%, 75% and then potentially to buy the property outright in due course when they, when they can afford to. No brand new laws are being used and the idea of affordable homes is hardly revolutionary. What is new is the way it's being done, the way existing laws are being used differently to prize stubborn properties out of dereliction and back into use. Lurking in the background is the No Use Empty campaign, whose project manager is Susan Pledger. The No Use Empty campaign has been set up by Kent County Council in partnership with four district councils, including Thanet District Council, to tackle the large number of empty properties that exist in these areas. What we're doing is providing training, support, financial support that will help the districts get on with their work to deal with properties such as this. So now we've done it once, it will be easier next time, but we do still prefer to work with owners rather than go this route. Mike Thompson from Thanet Council hopes delinquent landlords might become more inclined to cooperate now the enforced sale idea has been shown to work. I think this sends out a clear message to all property owners who uh, leave property to deteriorate to this sort of condition and become a blight on the people living in the neighbourhood. We will do whatever it takes to address this problem. Hundreds of other properties across Swale, Shepway, Thanet and Dover may soon be getting this sort of treatment. They're no use empty and they're no use full of pigeons. This is Graham Cook for BBC Radio Kent in Cliftonville.